Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Beauty A to Z. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. And we bring in 26 items at the beginning of the year for each one product for each letter of the alphabet. This year I split it up to where I have 26 beauty items and then 26 makeup items. Beauty items could be skincare, body care, hair care, etc., perfumes, and of course makeup is makeup. <laughs> so we're going to start with the beauty section and leading up to this update, I was working on 12 items in that portion. So let me share with you what I finished. I have one, two, three, four items that are rolling out today. The first one is for the letter A. It's the Algenist Firming and Lifting Cream. And this is a two ounce jar of moisturizer. And I finally finished it. Yay, there's a little bit left there. We'll just moisturize my hand. It's pretty much done. Anyway, this was a decent moisturizer. It's not my favorite. I was using at night and then I switched to day and then I was using it both day and night, but I typically would use it with a, a face oil. But anyway, it's finished. Yay. I think this is like the oldest moisturizer in my collection and it's pretty old. Next for the letter C, I have the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I am so glad this is done. I took uh, advice from Valerie and was basically spraying this on my face every morning before I started doing my skincare. There's a teeny tiny bit left here in the bottom, but it won't spray anymore. And this is not a removable cap. Anyway, this is finished. I don't love the, I wouldn't say menthol, but it has a like minty feel when you put it on your skin. That's not my favorite. I prefer something that doesn't have that scent, so I would not repurchase that one. For the letter D, I have the Dr. Jar Dermaclear Trans Foam Clay Mask. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done with all three of these. I'm so happy. I had these in my collection for so long. You can see it. I literally had updates on this every single month. It's finished. <laughs> yes, so excited. And the last item I can roll out is for the letter L. This is the Lalabo perfume in another 13. I rolled this in to use a quarter of the perfume, the jar. So you can see that's where I was last time I updated. I think you can probably see my little bitty dot there. I may have like a few sprays left, but I'll, I'm wearing it today. It'll definitely, I'll use it like later this afternoon and then I'll definitely be at that little little dot mark. So that's rolling out. So that's four items rolling out, which is great. Now let me share with you how I'm doing on the other items I'm working on. For the letter F, whoops. For the letter F, I have the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Sheet Masks. I had rolled in 12 and I have four left. In the last month, I've used four. If you guys remember, I was doing my sheet mask September. I don't know if I'm going to Put that video up before this one probably but i did use four in the last month for that challenge and i have four left so i'm definitely i'm confident i'll be able to get through these four before the end of the project so i've used eight have four to go then for the letter g i have the glow recipe avocado melt retinol eye cream and i think i'm about halfway done with this that's you can kind of see there but on the outside i'm about down to here you can see i i don't think i'm gonna mark it because i don't think i'm gonna mark it because honestly there's like a big divot in the center and it's fine but anyway working on this i was i stopped working on this a little bit to work on a mini that's in my 100 colorful empties and I just wanted to get that one finished because I've had it open like all year. So I finished that or I think I have one use left and then I'll work, continue to work on this during the day. This is my daytime eye serum. For the letter H, I have the Hemp's Mashup Pink Pomelo and Himalayan Sea Salt Moisturizer, body moisturizer. I just started working on this and you can see that's where I am right now. So I'm hopeful I can have this finished before the next update. That is my goal. We'll see if I can do it. For the letter U, I am all the way down to U. I have the Up Circle Face Serum with Repurposed Coffee Extract. This is a face oil and I made really great progress in the last month. I have been kind of doing, using this as double duty morning and night. 
So I think this is another one I will have out before the end of the month, uh, before the next update, excuse me. I am kind of, what's the word? Prioritizing this one to finish. For the letter V, I have the Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. This is the eye serum that I use at night. You can see I didn't have as much progress in this over the last month because I was or prioritizing the other one in my 100, 100 Colorful Empties. I am really hopeful I can finish both, both this one and the one from Glow Recipe before the end of the year. I'm a little worried, but I have three months to go, so I'm I'm hopeful. For the letter X, I have the Looks Me Pure Nilotica Melt, and this one I have made progress on. I, I want to say I was up here somewhere. My lines kind of disappeared, and now I'm down to here. This is something that I was originally just using in my ear to help hydrate a dry spot that I have in here, but now I'm using this at night on my face, after I've done serums and before I do my moisturizer just to give me some extra moisture and so I think I don't it's not going to replace my May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon because I like that formula much better but it's working fine for that purpose so we'll see if I can get this finished there's still a lot left in here I don't know if I can finish it before the end of the year but I'm going to try then for the letter Y, I have the Hey Honey Sweet Treat Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. I don't think I've touched this in the last month. I've been really focusing on those sheet masks, but I'm going to start rotating through my hydrating masks and really try to do something every single day because I have noticed a pretty significant difference in the hydration of my skin with the sheet masks. And I think any kind of hydrating mask is gonna be good for my dry skin. So hopefully I can get some progress on that. And then for the letter Z, I originally had this Scentsy Now and Zen body cream. I opened this up to use and it smells off. Yeah, it doesn't have a scent anymore and it smells kind of funky. So I'm decluttering this. And in its place, I'm going to roll in a tree head sugar scrub and I grabbed the wrong one. So I grabbed frosted cranberry, but the one I'm rolling in is desert haze. And I actually just finished a body scrub yesterday. So I will roll that one in now to work on finishing. I shouldn't have a problem finishing it before the end of the year. And I'll make sure to grab the correct, <laughs> the correct scent. So that is everything I am working on for the beauty section. Let me clear my desk and I will share with you what I'm working on in the makeup section. Okay, now on to the makeup section. Previous to today, I was working on 10 items. Well, since the last update, I was working on 10 items and today I can roll out four, which is fabulous. The first one is for the letter D. This is the Dior Backstage Foundation, Face and Body Foundation. It's finished. This was in the shade 1.5N and I'm so glad it's done. This is a beautiful foundation. I would totally repurchase this. I'm pretty sure they still sell this. It's a lovely, lovely foundation. I love it. I probably would want to get, I mean, 1.5N is a good shade for me in the summer, but it's not a good shade for me in the winter. So I may consider getting like the next lightest neutral shade as well as this one, but I have so many foundations. For the letter T, I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette Color Wheel, and I was working on the shade concept to use 50 times and I did hit that goal and you can see my massive pan there don't look at this one <laughs> well I did hit pan in this you can see I have a nice nice pan going I don't think it would take very much more to finish that but I'm gonna work on hitting pan in these other shades before I do that so anyway you can see I did hit pan on this one but whatever so anyway that is goal complete I'm so excited about that for the letter V, I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Vanilla Quartz. This is the powder version. So I have this little deluxe size and I was working on hitting pan in this highlighter and I did. Can you guys see my, my pan right there in the center? So yeah, this has pan, super excited about that. I will probably roll this in next year into a project to finish because it is a very powdery formula and I think I can get that one done next year. And then lastly for the letter Y, I did hit my goal on this YSL Rouge Voluped Shine in the shade Mauve Core. I rolled this in to use half. 
here is the shade and I did hit that goal which is super exciting I love 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 this color love this formula it's gorgeous so that is how much is left in here yay goal hit so I have six items still remaining in this project and five of them are lippies what was I thinking the first one is for the letter C this is the cover FX power flex mascara and I'm using this now I this is an okay mascara the wand is really interesting you can see and I kind of use this as my first mascara to help lengthen and then I go in with something else to volumize because this doesn't do a very good job volumizing my lashes but it's an okay mascara I mean I would not repurchase it I think they discontinued it anyway but I would not repurchase it next for the letter H I have the hourglass confession lipstick in the shade red zero it is what I'm wearing right now I rolled this in to use half again what was I thinking I am really close you'll see a picture over here super duper close I am definitely going to focus on this to roll out before the next update yeah I um, it's beautiful color I just want I just want to get this one rolled out next for the letter n i have the nyx butter gloss in the shade creme brulee so here's how this one's looking you can see i'm all the way down there so i think i'm going to go ahead and take out the stopper because i'm not really getting a lot on the doe foot so after this video i'm going to take out the, the stopper and then i'll be able to work on this a bit more because once you take out the stopper there's still a ton of product this currently sits up my work desk and I apply it throughout the day if I don't have my lip bag next to me or even if I just need something really quickly to help moisturize if I don't have my makeup on yet and I'm sitting at my work desk I'll use this so we'll take out the stopper and hopefully I can get it finished before the end of the year this one is super close this is for the letter p it's the pat mcgrath lust gloss in the shade love potion i roll this in to use half so the dot is what i need to get to and you can see i'm super close the way that i'm currently using this is i have this sitting on my vanity to use whenever i've whenever i'm just like sitting here and i need something on my lips to help hydrate like if I put on a liquid lipstick before I film a video or something. So I don't think it'll take me very long to meet that goal. I'm thinking like five uses and this will be gold lit. So I'm hoping to have that one rolled out before the next update. Then for the letter S, I have not used this at all. You can see my my picture will show you. This is, I have a long way to go on this. The Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the Shade Fig. Oh, okay, this is the time of year where I can start wear, start wearing this there's actually some other color mixed in here there is the shade and i rolled this into finish <laughs> if i get through half of this i will be so happy there's the shade there it's gorgeous i just need to use it i need to have a plan on how i'm gonna continue to work on that and then the last item i'm working on is for the letter x this is the lisa eldridge luxuriously lucent lip color in the shade painterly i rolled this in for a quarter use this is definitely more of a fall shade so i have not been focusing on this of late but it's beautiful beautiful so hopefully i can hit that goal i don't think i'm really close but we'll see so those are the six items i'm still working on i think for this project i will well for the next update i will have the mascara finished I think I will definitely have my goal met on this guy this red zero lip and the Pat McGrath lip gloss that is going to be my goal to get those three out and then I'll have three lippies to work on the last two months of the year anyway that is going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing well and staying safe please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time bye this is it Okay, bye.